No, congratulations. Thank you. That was a big win. Yeah, no, it was uh, very exciting for me. I mean, he's a great player, so it was a uh, big deal. It was fun. H how Have you run into him before? I actually have not. I've seen him play many times just from other ITFs, but uh, never played him before. Going into the match, what were your thoughts? Because he's seeded 15. This is uh, Stefano Napolitano. Yeah, um, I mean, I just go out and play my game, not worry about too much about what he's doing. I mean, I know he's a good player, so he's going to hit consistently good shots, but I uh, just went out there, had fun, and it came out in my favor. How did you find the clay? Um, I mean, it's French Open clay. It's nothing compared to anything in the United States, so it's actually a blast to play on. I really love it. Mm -hmm. I think you were down a break in the second set, weren't you? Or yeah. Um, did you come back from that? Game. Yeah. Yeah, so um, just kept it cool, just uh, not to get too crazy about it, so I got it back pretty quickly, and I felt good. So. Mm -hmm. So what, yeah, I mean, during the match, were you able to stick to your game plan? Did you feel you had to change things up? Um, I mean, little things always, some uh, intangibles I had to change up, but that's always in every match. But uh, mostly step, uh, stuck to my game plan, it was good. How are you enjoying the French Open experience? <laughs> it's unlike any other tournament, I mean, the people have been very nice and uh, it's a great opportunity for me. So, you know, when you leave here and, and you know, you're back with friends or family and they say, pinpoint one thing that's the absolute highlight that you've experienced, let's say, in the first few days of the French, what would you say? What would you say to them, this is something I'm going to remember? I mean, just how professional the tournament is, how they treat the players. I mean, unbelievable location, Paris, France is just <laughs> gorgeous. I mean. But uh, everything was just a lot of fun, like clay. It was just a really good experience overall. Have you had a chance to get around? Um, I mean, just on in the car, Eiffel Tower a couple of times, but I really want to go up into the Eiffel Tower. Yeah? Just to tell my friends I did. You did that. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, what I've been uh, asking some of the uh, American juniors is that uh, um, France is known for its food. And uh, Taylor Townsend said she hasn't quite tried escargot yet. Oh, snails. no, no. Um, I'm sorry, sir. That that won't be happening. No, trip. come that on. That will not be happening this trip. Well, Mitchell Kruger's already tried them. Uh, Mitchell is uh, he's a little crazy when it comes to food. <laughs> but uh, I think I'll be sticking to a nice pasta and pizza. Uh -huh. uh, that'd be good. And a croissant in the morning. That's all I need. Do you like the croissants? Oh, they're fantastic. They're good, aren't oh, they? Oh, my God, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> which, which type? Just the plain ones or...? Um, I mean, I try to stay away from the chocolate ones, even though they're no, delicious. Do <laughs> but uh, before a match, especially an 11 a.m. match, it's tough to have like three because I just keep wanting more. Yeah, yeah of course. So. Sure, of course. Why not? Um, so you know, you're sticking to the actual um, diet that you that you're you're familiar with and things like that. I mean, obviously, we don't have the same exact food as in America, but um, I'm trying to keep it somewhat healthier, somewhat to my nutrition that I had been doing, so it's been working out. Okay. okay. With a croissant on the side. Of course not, why not? <laughs> yeah. The pain au, cho pain au chocolat, you yeah. know? they're brilliant, aren't they? Um, so, what, it, what? I mean, I know you say you want to get up to the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that, but it really up to now, is it just being going from the hotel, coming back to the courts, practice, matches, etc., etc.? I mean, just the players' lounge. I mean, they really treat the players well, so, I mean, besides all the sights I want to see, I'm actually fine with staying here. It's really fun just to hang mm -hmm. out with everybody. What about the next match? I'm actually not sure who I play. I'm sorry to say that, mm -hmm. but um, I have doubles soon, so that'll be fun, and we'll see what happens tomorrow with the singles. Well, I'll let you get to the doubles court. Yes. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.